Hey, Thomas, can you please um, introduce yourself and tell me your first and last name? Uh, my Chinese name is Thomas, okay, great. And what grade are you currently in? Ninth grade? Okay, uh, you're going to have to speak up a little bit, okay? It's a little difficult to hear you, so a little louder, please. Okay. Oh, perfect, perfect. And what grade are you applying to? Ninth grade as well? Okay. And you're applying for um, uh, fall in 2000, this year? Or what, when, are, when are you planning to um, enroll? When do you plan to start school? Okay. Oh, so you want to uh, start in the spring. Okay, never mind. All right. And can you tell me if you have ever taken any English exams? Okay, you've taken the SLEP test. And what score did you get on your SLEP test? 56. 56? Okay, good job. When did you take the SLEP? Oh, wow, you just took it. Uh, and how was the test for you? Was it difficult? Oh, wow, it was easy for you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um, so how long have you been studying English then? About 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, I started learning when I was six. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you study English? Do you study just uh, taking classes at your school, or do you go to any other? Extra class. Oh, okay. What kind of extra class do you attend? Like, they can listen and uh, writing, writing skills. And, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, have you ever taken any classes for, um, like, conversation or... Or speaking, mm -hmm, or speaking classes. Yeah, it's, it's a account. TOEFL. And you took a TOEFL class? Yeah. I see. Are you practicing um, in preparation to take the TOEFL exam soon? Maybe on um, February. Okay, that would be perfect. After you take the TOEFL test, um, you will be able to apply to a lot more schools and better schools. So I'll definitely get that score from your agent. Um, yeah. So why are you interested in studying in the U.S.? Because I, I know, I know, America have a very special education system. That is, I think it's very different from Chinese in, in, in China. We can only just send what teacher teach and, and then take notes, no more. Just learn, learn, even they not actually like it, actually want to learn it. But in America, I think it's more open. I have some healthy degree with teacher, or I can, I can actually learn something I really want to learn. And I, I love soccer. So soccer is one of the most important things for me. Is that Mm -hmm. But in our school, we, we don't have any soccer team, soccer field. They don't even allow us to play soccer in our company. So, but I know a lot of America's school have very professional team and awesome team. So, yeah, that's why I want to study. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, you know, Thomas, your, your English is, your pronunciation is really great. Have you ever been to America? I started in there for three months. Oh, so you, did you do a summer program? Yeah, like a, like a language help, like language coming. Okay, where and when did you do this? Like Ross School. Ross. Ross School, okay. Okay, tell me more about the summer program. When did you go? Uh, last year. 
August, mm -hmm. I went to America and Ginger Ross in Long Island, East Sandy, Long Island. And the school is not not that good, so mm -hmm. so that's the reason why I come back. Cause the school is people 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 get drunk, people smoke in there. And mm. Some people stole stole, stole other stuff, so so it just the reason I come back is the school is not good, so. Yeah, um, so you did a summer program at Ross School, or did you attend there as uh, enrolled in the academic year? Oh, so you started going to school there, and then you came back to China. Yeah, I see. Um, okay, and you attended Ross School for how long? For uh, almost. Okay. Almost five months. Okay. Four. Four months. And it sounds like you didn't have the best experience there, but um, did you feel like your English improved while you were studying there? Of course. Uh huh. Actually, that's that that experience. It it experience is taught me a lot. Mm hmm. Okay. And then where did you do the summer language program then? You said you did a summer program, a language class at, in America. What was that? We, we do have English, like, like innovation, science, and actually we don't have like, like, uh, language program. Okay, so it was a normal class that was um, a summer school there. Okay, got it. So after your experience at Ross School, um, you came back to China and you've been studying here for a couple months now and you want to go back to school in America. Um, now that you have kind of a second chance to study in the U.S., what are some different things you want? What's a different experience that you want now? Different from Ross. <laughs> yeah, that's really important to be in a safe and healthy environment at your school. I totally agree. Um, I can definitely help you find some schools that would, you know, um, be that kind of safe environment for you. And also you said that you wanted to have a school that has a good soccer team, right? Yeah, soccer team. So uh, what else? What else would you like to have at your school? I like some social, uh, like historical uh, American school. Oh, like an older school, like for example, um, uh, a historical school in Boston? Yeah, Boston. So yeah. yeah. In Boston. Okay. Um, would you be interested in going to schools on the West Coast too, or are you only interested in the schools on the East Coast? Uh, would you be yeah? Would you be interested in going to a school? You just like the East Coast, okay? Yeah, that's fine. We have a lot of schools in the East Coast too. Um, so during your experience in America, what was something that very important that you learned while you were here? What was something that was very different from China? During your experience here, mm -hmm. you lived here for almost four months. Uh huh. Learn what they really want to learn. Learn something they really interesting. 
and I can I can have my individual opinion. So yeah, that's that's awesome for me. Hmm. Yeah, that's great. Um, you know, there's a lot of freedom and independence here, so um, you have a lot of choice, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So with those choices, um, what kind of choices do you want to make for your for your education in the future? Do you know what you want to be when you're older, or do you know what you want to study in college later? No, it's not the same, but but also I want to study in American college. Then, so, so maybe I can be a, I will be a musician or something. Uh, okay. Uh, I want I want to learn some learn some major like 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 economic or physics like kind of like that. Okay, so you're interested in economics and you're interested in um, studying business later. Yeah. Why are these subjects interesting to you? So my my father is a businessman. He runs his own business. I wanna. So, so, be be lucky. Lack, oh, you. Oh. Okay. It sounds like your father is um a big role model for you. Somebody who inspires you. Yeah. What do you respect about your father? Like he's a. He's a is very very good work like kind of like he, he worked very seriously like um he he respects him to all other people and he's a good worker at the studio like and he always told me to be a person that other people like make other people like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, 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 Yeah, it sounds like uh, he's a very big influence on you. Yeah. Um, so, out of all those qualities and traits that you admire in your father, what do you, what do you consider to be one of your personal strengths? What do you consider to be one of your personal strengths? So, what's something that is, um, what's something that you're proud of about yourself? Mm -hmm. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Kind. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, I think preserving is the most important thing for everyone. With that, everybody can be successful. So, I think it's perseverance. Yeah, I know the word you're trying to say, and it's a very strong quality. Um, what are some experiences that you went through where you showed your perseverance? Have you ever experienced something that was really hard or difficult for you, but you still tried really hard and you tried your best and you were successful to the end? Back in school, university team, mm -hmm. that one Chinese guy in there is it's so hard to make it, but I made it. I'm the only one Chinese guy. Yeah. Wow. Um. What What team was that? I didn't hear you. In your school, schools. Uh huh. Varsity soccer. Why soccer? Wow. You were on the varsity soccer team there. That's amazing. <laughs> you must be a really good soccer player. Because <laughs> you're only a freshman, and uh, varsity is usually limited for the upperclassmen, right? First year there. 
Yeah. A very that's that's a, a you must you should be very proud of yourself. What an accomplishment. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, that's that's something to be very very proud of. And how did you how did you train and how did you practice for that? Did you have to work real extra hard to be um, selected on that team? Yeah, I need to practice my skill every every day after 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 school. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's kind of because I don't have that much spare time to do to do that practice. It's kind of so hard for me, but I mean, yeah. Okay, so what kind of sacrifices did you have to make during that time? Did you have to, um, because uh, you said you were very busy, but you still made time to practice. So that's a really great example of your perseverance. Did you have to, like, not play with your friends or not play games? Or what did you have to do? What did you have to give up? To make that commitment. Yeah, time to do my homework, and I, okay. I, I can't play any games. Mhm. Mm what a commitment! You gave up all your games. <laughs> What's something that you think you have to improve about yourself? Mhm. Mm Okay, uh, it's a little bit difficult to hear you right now, kind of unclear. Did you say that you get nervous when you communicate in English? Or what did you say? Yeah. Oh, adults, okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Is it um, the, the, the adults that you met in America? China, too. Adults, adults can be a little intimidating sometimes, right? <laughs> so, how do you think that you can improve that about yourself? How can you work on that? Maybe take a long. Mm hmm. Or like make 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 me not that nervous. Mm hmm. And make more conversation with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are great ideas. You should definitely become uh, more confident in your speaking ability, Thomas, because your English is very good. So feel confident about that. <laughs> so what do you like to um, do in your free time? As you said that one of your most important hobbies is soccer. Do you have any other interests or activities? Mm -hmm. Do you have any other hobbies? Yeah, I play trumpet too. Yeah. Oh, wow, you can play trumpet too. Were you ever in a band or any uh, orchestra? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, if you um, plan to pursue playing trumpet, then we can definitely find you a school that has a band, um, and you can you can join the band there. Okay. Is there anything about yourself that you would like to tell me? What's something that I don't know about you and you want to tell me? <laughs> What's something unique and interesting that maybe when you are applying to a school, you might want to tell them about you? Yes, what do you mean? I can I can I can play. I, I always the like best soccer player in our school band and I also the best trumpet player in our soccer team. So I think that makes me unique. That comes. Oh wow! So I guess you must be very good. Have you ever won any awards or participated in a um, competition? 
Yeah, her soccer is from Kenji. Mm-hmm. Or Shonpei is in London. I don't know. Guys? Mm-hmm. What's the biggest and best um, award that you won? I, I had a... I, I had a... Like, our school, our school band had a, a performance in... National, national, national theater in Beijing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. And then, wait, wait. <laughs> that, that, that kind of a competition. At the end, Win that oh, so your band won that competition, and it was a national competition in Beijing. That's amazing. You should be very proud of yourself for that. <laughs> so I think um, if you could say, when you go to your new school, what would be something you would contribute to the school? What's something special that the school doesn't have that you're going to be bringing? <laughs> mm -hmm. How how will you add to the school? Not a lot to school soccer team and school band. Okay, yeah. you can help. Yeah, you can help them win win competitions. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, that's probably very true. Okay, so we can move on to the second portion of the interview. So if you remember the document that we looked at earlier that I emailed you, okay, if you can go to the listening portion, which is on page four. Okay, so how we're going to do is I'm going to read the first line and you can read the second line of the conversation, okay? Okay. Yeah, part three, listening section. Okay, so the first one says, Kelly says, that was a great film. I, I read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can read the second part. Uh, fantasies. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, how did Christopher feel about the movie? Uh, the question. The question says, "How did Christopher feel about the movie?" Read it. Just read it. Uh, you can, yeah, you can read the answer. Choices allowed, and then choose the answer that you think is correct. I didn't. Do you see number eighteen? Yeah. Oh, you can you can uh, write the answers afterwards, but you can just look at the we can read the conversation together now. So mark the answers later, but you can save the questions and answers now. Yeah, I can. can. So I just read. Mhm. Mm he thought it was, yeah. Just read it. Yeah, just read it. <laughs> I thought it was uh, analyzed. Okay. He agreed with Kelly. He liked that he moved up fields. He was impressed with the field. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then you can choose your own answer. And you don't have to say the answer now. If you want some more time to think about it, you can think about it later. But we can move on to the next one. Sarah says, so we're just testing your speaking and listening and reading now. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Sarah says, I heard Professor Thornton has retired. What? <laughs> okay. How does Bob react to the news? He's surprised. He's black. He's disgraced. Okay, 
Angela says, I do not like the way that our teaching assistant grades our assignments. Neither do I. So how does Bethany feel about the teaching assistant's grading practices? She doesn't care. She doesn't like the teaching assistant. She doesn't like the grade system. She is disagree with Angela. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the next question, Sally says, you are wrong about Michael. You'll see so. What best describes Alex's opinion of Michael? He was protective of Sally. Alex is support, supportive. He has <coughs> the board about Michael. He feels hostile towards Michael. Hostile. Also. Okay. Next, Jane says, I don't want to go to the math study session. Neither do I, but I think we should. Okay, how does Bill feel about the study session? He really wants to attend, but probably won't. He doesn't, he doesn't want to attend, but well, he wants to attend and he will. He doesn't want to attend and he will come. Okay. Carol says, I was going to live with Jane this semester, but when I arrived to campus, I had been assigned to live with Kara. So how does James feel about Kara? Uh, he thinks he think living with her would be difficult. He thinks Carol and Jane will, will live together. He thinks it would be better to live with Jane and Carol. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after this interview, you can mark all the answers when you return it to me, and you can go over them again and uh, have a little, take a little time to think about it more too, if you need. But for now, we're going to move on to the speaking section, part four, speaking section. Okay, so. The directions are, the speaking section will measure your ability to speak about a variety of topics. Choose one topic, uh, choose one of the topics listed below and discuss it for five minutes. Can you read A? Discuss a person in your life who has a very conversation and some way will find him or she in Spanish. Okay, B? What, what is your favorite book or movie? Describe it and explain why it, it is your favorite. KC? Who is that important person in your country? Describe, describe his person and explain why he or she is important. Okay. So you can take a little, a couple moments to think about it. Um, you can choose one. And if you need to take notes or think about it, uh, think about your answer a little bit, then I'll give you a couple minutes. And whenever you're ready to start, we can begin. Okay, great. Which topic did you choose? Okay, so what's your favorite book or movie? Describe it and explain why it is your favorite. 
The Shawshank Redemption. Wow, that is a great movie to select. Why is it your favorite movie? Uh, it's, 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 it's for, for me. Now I, I have been, uh, like, I have seen it, or watched it for three times, and it's taking never give up and be preserving, preserving, and yeah, if you never give up and whatever, whatever do, whatever you do, and just keep doing your own goal, and then in the end you can reach it. Okay, can you tell me a little bit more about the storyline? Sourcing is is a new chapter. Other some people put the bad bad things and stuff on on him, but he didn't do that. And so he was in his deep arrival and in prison. Try to, try to, try to, I don't know. A little bit louder. Uh, he got arrested and went to, went to prison. Oh, prison. And, and, and he tried out a way to, no. He tried to like re get the freedom. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Well, don't tell me how the movie ends in case somebody hasn't watched it. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, that's that's a good description. It's a it's a difficult movie to explain because it is very very long, right? A lot of stuff happens. But um, okay, good job. That was that's a difficult movie to choose. How did you how did you watch the Shawshank Redemption? Who introduced this movie to you? It's very old. Yeah, my my father. Hmm. Is it his favorite movie too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, that concludes our interview today.